In our business report since 2010, the number of black immigrants in the United States has risen by 30% and their economic contributions have also climbed now in the billions, according to a new report called The Power of the Pulse. Africa 54's Ayane Deng Bior spoke with Andrew Lim, the director of the quantitative research at the New York based New American Economy, who says this group of immigrants is becoming increasingly influential. I think when you talk about immigration um, in the context of the United States, you often um, only talk about Hispanic immigration or Asian immigration to the U.S. Um, and what gets lost there is this, you know, this growing population of black immigrants, whether they come from sub-Saharan Africa or the West Indies or other parts of Central or South America, um, they are a significant population, both economically but also demographically, to the United States. There has been a 30 percent rise in the number of black immigrants who have arrived in the U.S. since 2010, and their economic contributions is in the billions, as is their contributions to the U.S. tax system. Why do these figures matter? 30% from just 2010. So that's an increase of three point, from 3.3 million in 2010 to 4.3 million in 2018. Um, and you mentioned their economic contributions. And so as they grow in number, they also are growing in economic clout. Uh, and so just in 2018, we already saw that black immigrant households earned a total of $133.6 billion dollars. Um, and that allowed them to pay a significant amount in taxes as well. So you think about uh, $22.8 million in federal income taxes, but also 12, uh, sorry, $13.2 billion in state and local taxes. And so if you actually think about, um, you know, their, their income minus the taxes that they pay, um, that still leaves them with a consumer power that's equal to um, $97.6 billion, so not an insignificant amount at all. You know, Andrew, as a journalist, I don't like to inject myself in stories, but as a black immigrant myself, I know the challenges that my family had trying to get to school, trying to learn English, trying to pay for school, trying to get jobs, knowing the challenges that black immigrants face. Why do you think these numbers continue to be so significant? I think these numbers are so significant for, for a couple reasons. One, I think black immigrants in particular from the data that we've seen are, are actually very skilled. I think contrary to a lot of, of rhetoric that you see from certain um, politicians or people in the media, um, black immigrants have a lot to offer the United States in terms of their skills. If you look at the situation that we're currently facing in the United States in terms of this health crisis and the coronavirus, um, healthcare is a huge industry for black immigrants. Um, they, especially as nurses, personal care aides, um, medical assistants, et cetera, um, almost three out of 10 black immigrant workers, um, that's more than 750,000 people, uh, are working in the healthcare sector. So that's one way, you know, they, their skills and, and their propensity to working in healthcare is one way that they're positively impacting the United States. So how can this information be used in the world, be it in policy, education, or the workforce? Yeah, I mean, this this data really shows how significant the population is now. And, and again, as I said, will only continue to increase. Um, what really I think would be the most important takeaway is that people should pay more attention to this group of immigrants in particular. Um, you know, as I said before, a lot of the debate around immigration really uh, is dominated by discussions about Hispanic immigrants or Asian immigrants. Um, but really, we're, we're not getting the full picture when we talk about that. So to include black immigrants in these kinds of conversations about immigrant integration, about expansion or ensuring that all people have access to the right information so that you're going to communities that you're reaching all the communities you know in your city or your state um, including black immigrants is just something to keep in mind